in this video i'll talk about concordance or concordance index they are essentially the same i'll talk about how to compute concordance index uh, in a data set um, we will be using basesas and proc sql to do that let me show you the data set for which we want to compute concordance uh, my data set uh, is output data let me take it to output data first okay as you can see on the screen i have a data set for uh, 400 students the first column is admit whether a student is admitted to a graduate school or not if he is admitted then um, the the variable takes one else it takes zero so admit is my dependent variable for the model I have got three independent variables GRE, GPA and RAM. GRE and GPA are continuous variable. Rank is a categorical variable and ordinal nature. I have uh, saved the output probability after uh, building the model. So you can see the estimated probability here. If you click on this, you will see actual name of the column. The name of the column is Pred underscore probability and I have lower confidence limit and then upper confidence limit for uh, the estimated probability at 95% uh, confidence level so they are essentially the upper limit and lower limit of probability I don't need the lower limit and upper limit all I need here are two things admit and estimated probability using these two variables I can, I can compute what is my concordance for this particular model of course we we compute concord we, we get concordance directly from the proc logistic but to understand what concordance is all about it is very important that we do it by ourselves we need to write a code which will compute the concordance instead of sas directly giving it to us and and we'll see there will be slight difference but uh, you know there is there is almost they are same uh, the only difference is is because uh, the way SAS counts it is slightly different than uh, the actual uh, formula or actual way of uh, you know getting um, the concordance and I'll tell you why the difference is later well for the simplicity I am taking only the first hundred observations you can of course take the entire observations but I want to keep it a short uh, you know ensuring that uh, it doesn't take much time to run if you have time you can take the entire data set um, so I, I'm, 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 I'm keeping only the top uh, 100 uh, data points but remember if you want to compute concordance you have to take the, uh, the entire data set if you are computing for the entire data set you have to keep the entire data set in the place now I'm subsetting the data set into two data sets. One is where admit equal to one, and the other place is the other data, data, other data is where admit is is equal to zero. That means in uh, the first data set out one, I have uh, students those who are admitted, okay, and in the out a zero I have students who are not admitted so if I run these two things okay, let me go to Explorer let's check the out data set first so you can see only hundred data points are there okay I have taken only hundred one let me go to out one and out zero so let me go to out one so out one has only the admitted student so 32 students are admitted out of the 100 
so admit equal to 1 ok let me go to out 0 68 students are not admitted where admit equal to 0 Okay, <clears throat> now what I'll do is that I'll cross join them. I'll cross join. Uh, so, how do we, uh, you know, cross join two data sets? We have out 0 and out 1, right? I'll do a cross join. So, I'll use proc SQL for that. I'm creating a table. You can see in the syntax. And then I'm selecting admit from the admit one data set sorry sorry I am uh, selecting admit and uh, uh, from the uh, admit one data sorry out one data set and then uh, admit from the out zero data set predicted probability from the out one and predicted from the probability from the out zero I am, I am, I am giving them uh, different aliases just to you know understand it better okay you can check the syntax again. Well, let me write it for you. I think it will be easier to understand. Proc SQL create table concordance as select a dot admit so a is my first table out one as admit one I give it as one admit one then b dot admit so b is the table out 0 I am taking the same variable again and calling it as out 0 a dot predicted probability I am calling it as predicted probability 1 give comma b dot predicted probability I am calling it as predicted probability 0 ok then uh, from out 1 cross join out 0 Right, so out1 is alias A, out0 is alias B. So table out1 is denoted as A, table out0 is denoted as B. Quit. Let me run this. Okay, so let me go to the concordance table. So you can see <laughs> admit one. So what essentially I am trying to do is that if you have like 32 ones and 68 zeros, when I am doing a cross join, how many observations you will have? 32 into 68. Okay, because for everyone you will have a zero, right? that is a cross product of that so that's why we have done a cross join estimated probability so uh, if you go to the actual column in one case it will be pro predicted probability 1 that means predicted probability that is there with the uh, you know the admit cases where admit is equal to 1 and the second case is predicted probability is 0 that means 
rated probability for the non admit cases okay so essentially uh, in a in a nutshell if i have to if i need uh, i am to uh, summarize you take the admit variable and estimated probability from the cases where admit equal to 1 and you take admit variable and estimated probability from the cases where you have admit equal to 0 or the non admission cases and then you do the cross product okay so uh, this is uh, this is the data set and from there we will define what we call it as concordance so what is a concordance if so we have now pairs right 1 and 0 so you have like how many pairs uh, 2176 pairs so pairs of 1 and 0 okay so if the predicted probability of 1 is greater than predicted probability of 0 you can see this condition pred of 1 is greater than pred of 0 then it's a concordant pair okay if predicted probability 1 is less than predicted probability 0 then it's a discordant pair okay and if they are same i call it as a tied okay or tied cases okay so if it is a concordant pair i am assigning a variable called concordance here equal to 1 if it is a discordant pair okay predicted probability of 1 is less than predicted probability of 0 i am calling it as concordance is equal to i am assigning concordance is equal to 0 that means there is no concordance it's a discordant pair if it is tied, we call it as half concordance. Okay, so concordance is is equal to 0.5 here. Okay, so, okay, so that I am uh, saving it in concordance one. If you go to concordance one, let us go to concordance one. Okay, so you can see the concordance pair and the discordant pair. There will be very few cases where you have you know the tied cases in fact uh, i don't think there will be any tie cases but yeah sometimes you will uh, have uh, tie cases as well so this is a concordant pair why so so if you compare your uh, you know your predicted probability of predicted probability of 1 is greater than predicted probability of 0 hence it is a concordant pair if you go to the next one, same, predicted probability of 1 is greater than predicted probability of 0. Hence, again, it's a concordant pair. If you go to this case, where concordance is 0, the predicted probability of 1 is less than predicted probability of 0. Hence, it's a discordant pair. Okay. You can do a proffering to see how many concordance pair and how many discordant pairs are there. Do a proffering data. Concordance is so <clears throat> so um, there are uh, fifteen hundred. 66 concordant pair and 610 discordant pair so the percentage concordance is 71.97 and percentage discordant is 28.03 okay now once you have this concordance uh, you know the proportion you can uh, compute the concordance index in two ways you can directly use proc means and it will give it to you else what you, uh, what you can do is that you can use the formula here okay so what is this your c value c value is nothing but your uh, concordance pair plus 0.5 into tied okay so total number of concordant pair plus 0.5 into tied divided by total number of pair 
okay so see the formula again your c statistics nothing but concordant pair plus 0.5 into your the tag pairs divided by total number of pairs so that's how you uh, get your uh, concordance index if you um, if you want to directly compute it without using this formula you can directly compute it by doing a proc means so i am doing a proc means of, uh, for the dead, uh, variable concordance remember the concordance is defined here okay so um, if i do that i will directly get the concordance When I am taking the mean of the concordant variable, I am getting it as 0.71966. Okay, so my concordance is 0.71966. I can take it to only two to three, uh, you know, decimal. So it's it's around 72 percent. Okay, so that's how we compute concordance. Just to summarize, concordance is an important index. It lies between 0 0.5 to 1. 0 0.5 concordance of 0 0.5 is no good, and 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 it it's it's a very bad score in the sense that it doesn't help us, uh, you know, doing uh, any. It, it the model has no predictive power, so to say. And concordance of 1 is a perfect model. So concordance basically lies between 0 0.5 to 1. What is concordance? Well, it, it is a probability that if you choose randomly one event and one non-event, the probability score for event is higher than probability score for the non-event. So the higher the concordance is, better is our model. And uh, you know the uh, objective of the analysis or the modeling. Uh, exercise should be to uh, improve your confidence as much as possible. You can get it directly from the proc logistic, uh, and if you want to, uh, if your software doesn't give you, you can directly use the algorithm or this uh, small piece of code I have written directly to get your confidence.